welcome to my channel if you're new if you're already subscribed or you know who I am welcome back guys today I'm going to be trying something very exciting I've wanted to try this um, since it was actually suggested to me by one of my lovely subscribers and her question was if I'd actually tried the Ethiopian hair butter I haven't tried it um, just because I didn't know I could make it myself and I thought it was something that you had to purchase but knowing that I could make it myself, I got excited and I said, definitely, I'm going to try it. I've seen Ethiopian butter used and I love the definition of the curls. I'm gonna try my best today to represent it in the best way possible. I'm not Ethiopian myself, but I love trying out different cultures and different things. So hopefully I do this accurately. If there's anything I've missed out or I get wrong, please don't forget to leave it down below in the comment section. I'm gonna try my best. I've done a bit of research. I've watched a few videos. I've done a bit of reading up. So guys, I'm I'm going to just go ahead and try this out today. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you the ingredients that I used and what I done to create the butter. So I'm gonna be taking my extra thick double cream. And then with that, guys, I'm gonna add a couple of drops of my lavender oil. Now it states that it's body oil, but I do use it on my hair also. And this is just basically to help with the fragrance as well as to help with the benefits that lavender has on the hair. So now I'm gonna blend it, and the required time I was told was three to five minutes, but as soon as I started blending it, it seemed to whip up pretty good. Ta-da! Right, let's get back to the rest of the video, guys. Now you've seen how I've produced the butter. I'm going to show you. It's nice and creamy. If you're not fond of the creamy smell, you can add an essential oil like I done. I added my lavender oil. I know this lavender oil is for body, but I use it in my hair also. I'm going to be trying this today as a pre-poo. I may try on another occasion as a deep conditioner. Now, let me just tell you quickly what I've been doing with my hair. So for the last four to five days, my hair has been in plaits and I've been spritzing it in the morning and in the evening. In the evening, I'd wrap my hair. I haven't added any other products on my hair since washing it, guys, apart from the water. So my hair is feeling a tad dry, a bit shrunken, and I need to just put that moisture back into it. So the benefits that I've read that you can get from the Ethiopian hair butter is it helps protect uh, your hair from the sun, so used as a sunscreen, packed with vitamins, and it's also packed with a lot of fats that our hair needs, and obviously adds moisture. So as I said, guys, be gentle with me. This is my first time trying this. And if there are any tips that you'd like to add that I could try or do differently, please let me know. I'm going to leave it to my hair for maybe a couple of hours, actually, because my hair is in need of intense moisture. has a really nice consistency as butter, you know, like butter. <laughs> So if there is anyone who's watching who uh, regularly uses Ethiopian hair butter or if you are of an Ethiopian background and you do use this butter, are there any tips you can give me, i.e. how often do you use this butter? Um, how long do you usually leave it in your hair? I mean, is there anything different that you do in regards to what I've mentioned? I love the definition already. Look at that, guys. Okay, for me, this is gonna get a bit messy. I didn't separate the water. I had the butter out, if you can see that, guys. I had the butter out for a while and I should have just left it in the fridge until I was ready for it. That was my error. So I'm just gonna quickly go and drain this off, guys. So I'll be back in a minute. Hey, guys, so I'm back now. I've just re-blended the butter. Let's see. So it's more solid. But already, look at the definition. Yeah, that's better. It's a more solid consistency. Now, I'm trying to get moisture in this nape. That bit for some reason always feels dry. I must say, guys, it helps to detangle the hair very nicely. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm literally running out of butter. Luckily, I've got some more whipping cream, but this one is double heavy whipping cream and the other one is just normal whipping cream. But either way, luckily I've got some, so I'm gonna have to go and do that because this is literally all I've got left. So I'm gonna go make up some more and I'll be back to you once it's fully applied in my hair and I'm about to put on my cap. So I'm also using it as a detangler to loose out like a takedown cream. And guys, don't worry, I know I haven't got a towel on my shoulders, but this is a very old top. So if it's triggering you that I'm getting butter stains on it, don't worry guys, it's fine. Okay, so that's all done now. I'm gonna be back once I've fully applied the butter to my entire head and I'm ready to put my hair up. Okay guys, so I'm back. Now I've got the butter applied in my hair all around. I love the definition I'm getting, the curls I'm getting already, I love it. So, I need a tip. In regards to applying it to my hair, it was fine, but the water that comes out whilst I'm applying it, did I do something wrong? Was I meant to sieve it or maybe put it like in a cheesecloth and drain it? Is that how you do it? It's fine, but I feel like I could have done it a bit better, but this is my first time. I'm just gonna go and put my hair up. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I hardly ever have a shower cap to hand, so it will be a plastic bag. And then I'll be putting my heat cap on. I'm I'm not gonna heat it up, I'm just gonna let the butter do its thing on my head. I just can't get over this definition. I'm digressing. I'm gonna leave it in, I reckon, for maybe two to three hours, just because I just wanna see how well this works. The maximum amount that I think my hair can take. My hair definitely takes the product for an hour plus, so maybe close to two to three hours. As I said, it's about two to three hours. So the time is now, what is the time? Side the ring light, the time is 3.27. So I'll be back at 5.30, okay? All right guys, so I will see you, yeah, uh, mm, two hours. <laughs> I'll see you in two hours. Okay guys, so I'm back. The time I will show you, time is 5.25 now. So I've had it in for two hours. I'm not gonna plait my hair on camera. I am gonna plait my hair once I've washed this out. I don't know if I'm in a deep condition today. I just think I'm in a shampoo and condition just because I've had this in my hair and I don't wanna to have to sit there for another like hour or so. I think this should be, I think this should be sufficient amount of moisture for my hair for this wash day. Ooh, look at that, all that water dripping down. I think I might need to put the towel back on. Do you know what, let me just quickly squeeze the excess with the towel. Okay. Really excited to see how this turned out when I wash it out. Wow. Look at that, guys. Do you remember in the beginning of this moisture journey? How frizzy and dry and... Hmm. It doesn't actually smell like butter. It smells like... I don't know. It's got like a sweet fragrance to it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow! Mm. So thank you to my lovely subscriber for this recommendation. So I'm gonna go and wash this out and I'll come back to you before I've put any shampoo or anything in it. So obviously I'm just telling you what I'm gonna do after the fact. So after this video, I'm going to wash my hair, condition it, and then I'm gonna plait it up for the rest of the week. However, I'm just coming back to you guys once I've washed it out with nothing in my hair whatsoever, okay? <laughs> guys, so I'm back. I've washed out the butter out of my hair. Look at the shininess, look at the definition. Look at that guys. My hair is super, super so soft, just detangles, just like literally like butter. All right, that, okay, that was cheesy. Sorry, okay, no pun intended. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna have to be a staple of mine. So guys, I hope I done well. I tried my best. Let me know how I got on, how you thought I done. And also guys, washing it out of my hair, I did think it was gonna be a bit more like hair grease. Uh, so for instance, I couldn't just wash it out with plain water, but to the contrary, I could. I washed it out with plain water. I haven't got any greasy residue. It's, it's gone, the grease is gone. The buttery feeling has gone. It literally just washed out of water. So now I'm gonna go shampoo my hair because obviously it's a dairy product. I don't want to leave um, dairy on my hair. But yeah, I definitely don't need to deep condition. <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any more recommendations you'd like me to try drop them down below in the comment section i will have a look and see what i can do and that will be it for today so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching me and you watch me for a while but you're not yet subscribed come on come join in so don't forget to like and i will see you in the next one bye